Hello, and welcome to the world of Pixelmon, where two of the greatest games in the world are combined, Minecraft and Pokemon. Two of my childhood favourite games watch as me and my friend attempt to survive 100 days of Minecraft Pixelmon on the complex Pixelmon server. And just before we jump into day number one, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the overwhelming support on the last two videos. And remember, if you enjoy, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So without further ado, let's jump right into day number one. On day number one, I was greeted by an imposter Tommy in it. After I'd said my hellos, I then moved into a rival battle. For this rival battle, I had picked out a Marill, and my rival had picked a Cypher. After the quick sweep from my rival, we then went exploring. I then found a Master Ball loot which contained a Lucky Egg. This would be awesome for when I needed to level up my Pokemon. I also then found a Rowlet which I caught. Then I picked up a Magikarp. I then decided to throw an abundance of Pokeballs into an Oddish. For days 2 to 3, I started my day by catching a Bidoof. After that, I then did a bit of mining. After mining for a little while, I then got my time tracker reward, in which I got a legendary Fiona. And then my rival flexed his evolution from a Staryu into a Starmie. Yeah. Through days 4 to 5, me and my rival just went travelling over the oceans until we found a nice little area to make a base. Through days 6 and 7, we just spent the entire time buying grass blocks and placing them down to make a big island around our two little ones that we started with originally. Through days 8 and 9, me and my rival were exploring and I finally evolved my Marrow into an Azumarill. Azumarill. After that, I found myself a Larvitar, so I decided to catch it. For days 10, I was placing down more grass blocks, and then we had a World Boss. A World Boss is basically where there's a very powerful Pokemon that everyone has to work together to defeat a certain amount of times, to therefore then get loot and certain prizes at the end of the fight. At the end of day 10, me and my rival decided to have our first big rival battle. Which sucked because I once again lost, so I definitely knew that I'd have to step up my team for the next rival battle. On day 11, I decided to try do an easy hunt, in which it was a Meowth, which I found pretty easy. <laughs> and then I got three vote keys as a reward. On day 12, I did another hunt, in which I had to find a Swirlix, which I found pretty easily, and got three shiny Pokemon spins which I managed to get a shiny Gibble, a shiny Natu, and a shiny Stoutland. Through days 14, I decided to work on my team, so I went and leveled them. On day 15, I decided to do another hunt, in which I had to find a Bidoof, which I found one, but unfortunately it was the wrong gender. 
From day 16 to 18, I continued the search until we had a world boss, where I got five rare candies. After completing the world boss, I decided to go and evolve my Gabite into a Gacha. On day 19, I decided to go mining again, and right underneath our base, I found myself a monster dungeon. Which had some pretty cool plates for Arceus, and also a Tidal Bell, which is used to spawn Lugia. For days 20 to 21, me and my rival decided to recover some fossils, so I got a Tortuga and also an Aerodactyl. After completing my third ever world boss, I decided to do some more leveling. At the start of day 23, me and my rival went to try and pick a team, but for some reason it wouldn't let us? But eventually we managed to get into Team Relic, so we went and explored the area for them. They had a bunch of daily, weekly and donator missions to complete for certain rewards, and even a Team Safari, which had loads of different biomes with all the different types of Pokemon that you might need. Nearing the end of day 25, I managed to buy myself an Elytra. And through days 26 27, I was searching for a small little Joltic, which I finally found in the Ultra Space. So I claimed him in and got another free vote keys. And in one of those, I managed to get a mending book, so I put it straight on my Elytra. At the start of day 28, I evolved my Shinx into a Luxray, and then did some races with the new Elytra. At the end of day 28 I managed to beat a world boss and actually got some extra loot for beating it. At the start of day 29 I decided to do a hard hunt to see if I could get some better loot and I got a Torkoal, which wouldn't be too hard to find. Oh but god was I wrong, it took me so long to find a Torkoal. After giving up on that on day 30 I did my rifle battle. At the end of the battle, I ended up winning. This is my first win so far. I spent the next two days searching for a Torkoal again, which I finally Ooh. managed to find in the Never. So I claimed him in and managed to get two Dream Keys, which I got 15 Raid Points and 30 Poke Points. At the start of day 33, I placed a new Tidal Bell and made my Garchomp extremely small because I thought it looked absolutely hilarious. <sighs> then through days 34 to 38, I began construction on my new house. On day 39 we ran into this really interesting person that decided that they wanted to just give me and my rival all of their shiny starters. In which I managed to get a shiny Charmander, a shiny Eevee and a shiny Hitmonlee. Shout out to these guys. It was already that time again. Another rival battle on day 40. But of course my team lost. So on day 41 I evolved my Eevee into a Sylveon. So on day 42 to 43, 
I finished up my house, adding a small little Pokemon battleground out front as well. Through day 44, we fought a really interesting world boss that we couldn't even defeat, not even the entire server, which meant we ran out of time and didn't get anything for it. But through days 45 to 48, I decided to make a bunch of PCs because me and my rival wanted to get a Porygon. And at the end of day 48, me and my rival had both managed to get a Porygon. Mm. So For days 49 to 50, I decided to go back to the level grinder mm. to level up all my Pokemon in order to be ready for the rival battle on day 50. Mm. Which I'm happy I did because I ended up victorious. Through days 51 to 53, I did a couple more hunts in the actual safari, in which I managed to get four Master Balls, Galarian Rain Dance, and a Sunstone. After completing all my hunts, we had one more world boss, which I managed to defeat and got lots of loot this time. On day 54, my rival gave me a shiny spin, but unfortunately I only got a shiny combi. Through days 55 to 56, I was just travelling around and then I ran past a shiny comfy. On day 57, me and my rival both evolved our Porygons into Porygon 2s. I then managed to find the same person that stole the shiny comfy and bought an EVO light off of him for my Porygon 2. For the next couple days, I was absolutely addicted to doing the Elytra races. I was determined to beat them all and beat the best scores. Day 63, we then had our rival battle. But of course, I once again lost, which kind of sucked. But you already know, on day 64, I got straight back into the races. I was absolutely addicted to beating these. Through day 65 to 68, I bought myself a Rotom, which I evolved into a Rotom Wash, and I also bought a Larvitar, which was battle perfect. Which I leveled up and evolved up to a Tyranitar. At the end of day 68, we had another world boss, which my Snorlax absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Through day 69 to 70, I was just chilling in the team safari when I ran across a Mega Sableye.
on day 71, my rival completely clapped me in a rival battle. I, I swear to you guys, I will get better at these soon. Through the next couple days, I decided to focus on making a bet apricorn farm because we were going to need these for lots more Pokeballs in the future. On day 74, I managed to find my Larvesta hunt, which I managed to get a shiny cube from. Which, to my surprise, I managed to get a shiny Ultra Beast, Blacephalon. And then again, on day 75, I decided to continue with my Apricot farm, growing out as much as I could. day 76 I was just sat in the level grinder mass leveling as many Pokemon as I could to keep on updating my Pokedex. For the next couple of days I was hunting an Alolan Vulpix, which I finally managed to find and evolved into an Alolan Ninetales. Through day 79 to 80, me and my rival were just trading Pokemon to update each other's Pokedexes as much as we could. Then whilst checking my Pokedex, I was thrown into jail. Me and my rival were sat in the jail and we didn't know why. But once we'd read the rules, we realised that dex trading actually wasn't allowed. So we had a rival battle with what Pokemon we had on us, which uh, didn't last long. Hmm. Hmm. So I sat in jail being very sad. But after getting out of jail, I had a weird streak of really good luck, which gave me a shiny Geodude. After catching the shiny Geodude, I went back to harvesting all of my apricots to make a bunch of Pokeballs. I made up some quick balls, dust balls, and some ultra balls. Through days 84 to 85, I was catching and killing as many Pokemon as I could to try and get a load of leather. After that I killed a boss Meowth which gave me an upgrade. On day 86 my luck continued. I found out there was a gambling feature. So I went all in on black and managed to win 60 grand. I 
I then decided to test my luck again, went all in with that 60, and of course, I won again. I managed to get 120,000 Poké Dollars. For days 88 to 89, I was just buying TMs and sorting out all my Pokemon's movesets, ready for our final two battles. But luckily, I've clearly learned something because I've won our day 90 rival battle. Ooh. On day 91, I made some new diamond tools and enchanted them. On day 92 to 93, I managed to get myself a Mega Swampert, which I used against the first gym battle. For the rest of the days 94 to 98, I continued to keep on fighting as many gyms as possible. I bought a shiny Dottini and leveled it up to a Dragonite because I knew I would need it for the rest of these battles. After beating the fighting gym, I'd finally beaten all of the gyms. On day 99 to celebrate, we made a beacon right underneath the battle platform. And finally, on day 100, we had our final rival battle.
I came out victorious on our final rival battle. And I threw out all my team that I'd won with. And I looked at them for the last time. On my 100 days in Minecraft Pixelmon.